You need to download this now. This is probably one of the best looking themes or most unique themes that I've seen come across Cyanjima theme image in, in a little while. There's some really awesome ones out there, but this one, bro. Themes like this is what gives me such a great appreciation for having a rooted device to where I can add a custom ROM so I can add a custom theme that looks so ridiculously awesome like this. This is gravy. It could be also called groovy because it really is just that nice. This theme was too good not to share and this is definitely one that you need to download if you haven't already. I'll leave a link down below where you can download this and again you must be rooted. This is a CyanGemod theme engine so you will have to have a supported ROM with that. As you can see from the reviews, this theme is hitting the spot with many users. It's really just that nice. So let's go ahead and take a look and have a little tour around this theme. The theme has this really neat looking modernistic bit looking kind of design and I really like it. It's, it's got some really cool colors and themes and the fonts are pretty sweet too. Even the tile cards look really awesome with the recent apps. You're going to get a custom look starting from the lock screen. I really like the condensed fonts. It's usually not one that I typically go for but it just matches everything else and it's put together really well. This is really just a polished over theme and as I continue to show it off to you, you can really tell those details are really put into this theme. The status bar looks pretty sweet. It's got some new icons for all the notifications and also the functions at the top. As you pull down the notification shade, you're going to see some really cool changes. I really like the placement of the vibrant colors. It's really balanced out through the entire theme. From the brightness slider to just the touches, you're going to see those pink highlights or reddish highlights. You're going to notice some of those vibrant colors as the icons inside the settings. Even as something as simple as the dialer, it just looks good. Hangouts has a pretty cool theme too. You can see this nice little boot logo that it pops up. It looks pretty cool to me. You can see it briefly there for a second. I like the plus symbol here. It looks really nice. Hangouts overall gets a whole new makeover because it's got a new video icon. It's got calls and also your menus. Even the simplistic text outline looks awesome to me. The play store has a pretty cool new look to it as well. And you gotta check out YouTube. YouTube has a cool little boot animation. It looks really awesome. That looks pretty cool to me. I like the circles with the pink squares going around. Then you got your top four panels here. You got your upload button there. Like I said, the highlights and the colors, the vibrant colors, they're just subtly placed where they need to be. Another change that you'll notice is the sound panel and it looks pretty sweet too. You can see, like I said, the colors are placed just right. I like how it highlights just the one that you're messing with. Looks pretty cool. For those that are interested, I am using Nova Launcher. The icon pack that I'm using is the Sudoruko, and it's a really cool one. I like it. It's a new one that's been out for a few days now, too. If you're interested in downloading the wallpaper that I got, I got it from Absolutely Wallpapers Collection, made by Nick Nice. He's got a great collection that you definitely need to check out and follow. This theme has made it into one of my top all-time favorites of all time. It was worth sharing this video with you so that way you can experience the same theme on your device. If you like this theme as much as I do, let me know down in the comments. If it's not one of your favorites, let me know which one is. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos like this. And until then, stay tacky. Bruh.